Linda Israel here, and I'm going to share with you a traveler's notebook with a peacock, spring peacock theme that I got from Calico Collage, and then the journal that I've made. And just to get the housekeeping out of the way, like this video, please share it with your friends, comment below thoughts about this journal or questions that you may have, and of course if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. So the cover... What I used was I had some mulberry cardstock. So it's a cardstock that has the mulberry flakes in it, but instead of being that really thin paper, it's cardstock. Then I had this teal ribbon that can be removed. It's just slid under the pamphlet stitch binding on the back. So if you don't put it into a cover, you can at least go ahead and use this journal. I have adhered the peacock image on the front and then trimmed it with some ribbon and sewn all the way around. Right inside is a flip out, so there's plenty of room to write on this journal here. I've made pockets. This is ribbon that comes in a huge roll with the peacock feather, and I just thought it'd be pretty as a tuck spot in the corner. This is a die cut. Here's something else that I've been doing. I take scraps of paper, just so happen this looks like a bookmark, and started stamping them with sayings and images. And then on my sewing machine, these are just scraps of fabric and a little piece of lace. And I just zigzagged over that. Just a simple look by doing that. These were all pieces that would have been in the trash. This I hadn't used because it was an odd shape and I didn't know what to do with it. Now it's become something to write on or a bookmark in this journal. This paper that's in the background with the feathers is paper that I've had for right at 20 years. Shannon Green had invited us down to Texas and we went to a store called Paper Roots or Paper Route, depending on where you're from. And I bought a whole bunch of paper, huge sheets. These were 24 by 36, maybe even bigger. I'm not positive, but they were huge. And I never used them. They were just sitting in my stash because I was so afraid to cut into them. Well, finally I cut them so that I could use them in the journal. Right inside the pocket here, I've got a little bit of lavender that I have put with some mulberry paper so it's soft and it smells good. And then I have this flip up that's a little journal spot in the corner. This journal is going to be traded with one of the gals that has joined my Facebook group. It is the Friendly Junk Journal People, and I'll have a link in the description box. If you're into junk journals, you want to share your junk journals, the process of junk journaling, questions about junk journaling, you have items you want to sell once a day, you can post that you have an item for sale and what it is. So come join our group. Anyhow, she is a member of this group and she had reached out to me about doing a swap. So I thought I would go ahead and use the spring peacock and then some things that I had in my stash. This is scrapbook paper that I've trimmed and then stamped. This is a coloring book page. A while back, I had a whole stack of these little note cards that should have come with envelopes, but they didn't. They were part of the scrap pack from Canvas Court Brands. Well, I decided that, you know, the polka dot doesn't really go with everything, but as a background with a little bit of acrylic paint, this is a piece of wallpaper, a book page sewn together, and then some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Well, I just give that card a whole new look. Instead of looking like that, it all looks like this. Isn't that cool? So I made a tuck spot here. There was a piece of this ribbon left over when I made the other tuck spot, so I decided to do that. Little piece of paper to journal on. This page here is out of my spray box that I spray on whenever I'm misting things, and I've used it as a journal page. This was stamped on and then used distressing ink. Here's another piece of handmade paper that came from that Texas visitation almost 20 years ago. Here's all of a uh, tuck spot that I made and this is a little note journaling card that has three little pieces of paper on it. It can fit in the back or fit into this front pocket. More journaling, grid paper. This was an old bingo card when my in-laws 
and I, my husband, would go cruising, they play bingo on the cruise ship. And these are just little cards that you fold back or fold forward so that you know the numbers have been taken. But once the game is over, they throw these away. Well, I went around and picked up a whole bunch of them on one of my cruises, and I thought, well, that'll make a great pocket. This is a piece of purple with the ribbon across the top. Behind there is a napkin that I adhered to a book page and basically decoupage it, add some glitter. This side I ended up painting so that it can be written on behind this note card. Here's another one of my sewn note cards. This is a dictionary page. I folded up the bottom and added this damask tissue from Canvas Court Brands. Here is an old computer punch card that I had in my stash because I can't remember if I got this from my old job because we had these computer cards or if someone gave them to me. But I have a whole stack of these and I thought, well, these would make great journaling cards. You can write on this side if you want and that side. Another one of my cards using scraps and stamping. folded paper. You know, when you have a piece left over, I just find that if it's pretty, it can go in the journal. It's another here. I like the sewing on the pages. Here's a larger one that I made. Embellished paper clip. Another embellished paper clip page out the scrap from the coloring book. The whole book has been sprayed with glimmer mist so you'll see that sparkle throughout. And then here's the back cover. Well I hope you enjoyed seeing this junk journal today and if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and I will be glad to uh, help you out if you aren't a member of the friendly junk journal people please check that link out below and say hello when you get into the group because we'd love to have you have a great day everyone bye